Well, I've been sitting here in front of the camera making faces because there's yeah, some get to talk today about some things that are difficult to talk about. And I don't know about you, but when I have to do that, I procrastinate. Hi, everybody. Mary, Judd Wisiak here, coming to you live from Holding the Hope Central in Battleground, Washington, with my Friday morning live video. And today we're going to talk about all things recovery. And I was looking through the list of things to talk about, and there's only one thing left to talk about. Hi, Sarah. There's only one thing left to talk about. Trauma. Ugh. I hate talking about it. I hate talking about it because it's different for everybody and everybody responds differently. And um, we all have our own experiences with it. And, uh, and I just hate talking about it. But as with all things that you hate talking about it, you have to, right? Because that's where the healing is. That's where the opportunities arise. That's where things happen that, um, that you didn't expect. You didn't expect. So here's what we say. Here's what SAMHSA has to say about trauma. Because, you know, components of recovery, trauma. Okay, what does it say about trauma? Recovery is supported by addressing trauma. It doesn't say recovery is supported by avoiding trauma. <laughs> I wish it did, but it doesn't. It says recovery is supported by addressing trauma. Services and supports should be trauma informed to foster safely, physically and emotional and trust. So the services need to foster safety and trust because if you don't feel safe, you, you can't talk about it and you can't get well. Um, and, uh, okay, where are we? What? I lost my place. Oh, as well as promote choice, empowerment, and collaboration. So let me read that again because I was all over the place. Recovery is, uh, recovery is supported by addressing trauma. Services and supports should be trauma-informed to foster safety, physical and emotional, and trust, as well as promote choice, empowerment, and collaboration. There's a lot that I can say about trauma. There's a lot that I can say about um, trauma in services. There's a lot that I can say about it, trauma in our lives. And what I wanna say is just very simply, it was never about you. Never. There is nothing wrong with you. Nothing. It was never about you. It was always about them. Regardless of where your trauma came from or how your trauma arrived in your life or what it did to you or how you responded or reacted to it, um, it was always about the person or people that were inflicting that trauma or the situation that was happening that you found yourself in around that trauma. So it, it wasn't your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. You were just there. So that's the only thing that I really want to say to tr about trauma to you. I want to say that to you and I have to say that to me all the time. So I think it's just really important that we remember that and that we focus on that. And then um, that we know that the part of what I love about trauma is that in spite of Everything that happened, we are these amazing, extraordinary people that have survived this, that have moved on with our lives, that have created wonderful lives for ourselves and families and joy and love. And in spite of what's happened to us, we have really moved into a place of wellness and recovery. And if we haven't quite got there yet, we're certainly intent on getting there and we haven't given up on ourselves. So that's the second thing I would say is like never give up. Always know that there's more healing coming. Even when you think you're well, there's more healing coming. I say that to myself. Every success in my life has uh, given me information about more opportunities, right? So every success provides more opportunities. Every success in healing provides more opportunities for healings. Every success in love provides more opportunity for love. Every success in joy provides more opportunities for joy. So the more that we can be joyful and loving and kind and helpful, the more opportunities we're going to have for that. 
And the more that we work on personal development, the more opportunity we're going to have to continue to work on personal development and to practice what we've learned. So I think that's awesome. And that's, that's what I want to talk about today. And that, that's all I'm going to say about trauma today because, um, <laughs> because trauma sucks but it's there. So what I want to talk about though, is to the people who are providing services for people who have experienced trauma, um, is that it's really important that, um, that you tell us the truth, right? That you, uh, that you are on our side and that you come from a place of kindness and empathy and love and not clinical stuff, right? This is one of those times when boundaries, are more porous, I think, um, is when people really need to know that you care about them. Because what we know is that the services that work the best come from therapists that we like. It's all about that relationship. So this is one of those times when I think that caring and compassion is critical. Uh, I'm not a therapist and my friends who are therapists tell me it's a really good thing that I'm not a therapist because apparently, I wouldn't be good at listening and letting people struggle because I'm not. I'm like, oh, there's your trouble. Let's fix that. But that's that. So, you know, I, as you can see, trauma is a difficult thing for me to talk about and you can probably figure out why. So, but I just think it's super important that we do talk about it. And I just think it's super important about how we talk about it. And I think it's super important that we, um, that we take care of each other that we continue to support each other, that we continue to love each other and be as kind as we can possibly be to each other because nobody knows what is in our hearts and nobody knows what we carry. Some people do. That's okay. Just the ones we want. So having said all that, I really want to talk about something that I think is uh, connected. Maybe I'll, I'll try to connect it. <laughs> is that... You know how when you, um, you grow and you change and you look back and things don't quite fit anymore, and I'm not talking about your clothes, <laughs> you grow and change and things don't fit. <laughs> I do know that. But what I'm talking about are um, when we grow personally and we look around and things don't quite reflect who we are anymore, that's what's happened to me. And that's what's happened to Holding the Hope. Over the couple of years, we've grown a lot here at Holding the Hope, and we've gotten a lot more um, relationships with people, and we've gotten a lot more um, products that we can provide you as far as trainings go. It used to be I just did my recovery trainings, and, um, and it was awesome, and I still do my recovery trainings, and I still do talk about hope. Um, but now there's so much more, and it's brought to you by people, not me. So now I have all kinds of partnerships with people to provide information that will help you and your agency uh, do amazing work and help all of the people that you serve get well. So what I'm excited to tell you is that I kind of looked around in my business and said, this doesn't really work anymore, does it? This isn't true anymore. So I went to my website particularly, and I have given it a little bit of an update so that it absolutely more reflects holding the hope for what it is. Um, it's more of a broader organization. It provides more than just me. It's not just me anymore, right? There's lots of us out there doing amazing work. And so I just really, really, really wanted to uh, have a website that reflected the awesomeness that holding the hope is. So I am announcing the new and improved holding the hope website and it's not ready. <laughs> We set the date for today as the big launch, and um, I'm moving forward with the big launch and the big announcement. But what I want you to know is that it will be ready probably by Monday morning. There's just a few tweaks to it that we made at the last minute. We added some videos, and that takes time. And so, um, and so, but I'm so excited to tell you. Oh, John Daniels. Hi, John. So I'm so excited to tell you that. Um, as a, as a website, it far more reflects who, who we are as a company and what we do. And so I'm offering a special deal for the month of August. If you contact me through the website, you get a 20% discount. 
How's that for fun? So if your agency contacts me through the website and you see something in there that you like and you see something in there that you know you need to have, 20% discount because it's new and I want you to go look at it. All right. So that's what my big announcement was today was that there's going to be, there is, there is going to be, there is, you just can't see it yet, a new website that is a lot like the old one, only way better. And you get a 20% discount to order stuff through it. So that's that. So lots to talk about today as Friday. You can see that talking about trauma is difficult for me um, for a lot of reasons. And so it's kind of a stumbling, uh, stumbling conversation today. But I want you to know that it's uh, you're not alone out there, right? And just what I started this with and what I'm going to end this with is that uh, it was never about you. If you have experienced trauma, um, it was always about the situation or the other people. It was never about you. And I just think that's so important for us to remember as we, uh, as we heal from all of the trauma that's been in our lives. So it's Friday, it's still Friday morning. It's 1147, it's still Friday morning. So I want you to have a fantastic weekend. I am going to, uh, I'm going to do that. I'm celebrating the birthday of one of my dearest friends. I think it's like a two day celebration. And of course, there's probably a little gambling involved, but maybe not. We don't know yet. And so have a fantastic weekend. Stay hopeful. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. YouTube, Mary Jed Wisiak. Subscribe. Okay, that's all for the Shameless Commerce. Bye.